Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Don and you're watching VR Gamer Dude and today, well, we're going to be taking a look at some accessories that our new friends over at Zyber just sent me and I can't thank them enough for sending these out. So we're going to be taking a look at three of the accessories that they sell today. So first up, we're going to be taking a look at an awesome battery bank that goes around your neck. You know, I've been testing battery banks all year, some that go around your belt, some that go in your pocket, some that go on the back of the head strap. but never thought about wearing one around my neck. So this should be interesting. Next, we're going to be taking a look at their load reducing head strap. And you know, I'm starting to really like this design where you've got the adjustable top strap over the top of your head to reduce that weight of the headset on your face. So really looking forward to getting that on my Quest 3. And last but not least, we're going to be taking a look at a set of accessory grip handles. So, you know, these are going to be great for games like Beat Save or if you're playing like one of the golf games like walkabout mini golf because it's gonna make it feel more like you've got that club in your hand or you're holding lightsabers or you know just just getting that feel of the controllers out of your hands so I can't wait to test each and every one of these and as always I can't wait to take you guys with me while I do let's go Okay, so let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the neck power bank here. So really love this packaging. I, I love the fact that they show both options on the package. So you've got the white and gray or kind of off white and gray and the black. I guess it really depends on if you're wanting to make sure that it's the same color as your headset. So if you're using a Quest 2 or Quest 3, you'd probably go for the white and gray here. If you're using a Quest Pro or other headsets, well, you might go for the black. Now, I'm not even sure which one they sent me, so let's go ahead and open up the box and find out. This is kind of like Christmas here. So, all right. And it looks like I got the black one, so very cool there. Now, looking in the packaging before I've even taken this out, this thing looks huge. And, you know, that, that makes sense because, well, it's got a lot of battery and power to store up inside this neck band. All right, so now that we've got it out of the box, let's take a closer look at the neck battery bank. So I got to say, first and foremost, the weight is actually nicely balanced on this thing. It's not super heavy but it's not light and cheap feeling either. So very nice on the construction. It's super flexible. And I gotta say, wearing it around my neck, it is comfortable. So that was one of my main concerns. Am I gonna feel a lot of weight pulling on the back of my neck? And I'm happy to say that I don't. So looking at the battery bank itself, looks like we've got a few USB-C inputs and outputs here. So we've got the input right here. That's where you're gonna plug into charge. We've got the output here where you're going to connect it to the headset, our power button. And one thing that I found was interesting is, is it does look like you can actually disconnect one of the batteries. So overall weight, construction, pretty impressed with the Zyber neck power bank. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it out of the box and see the head strap. So first thing we see is actually a nice little instruction card here. I gotta say that's really high quality, very easy to follow, but I'm gonna show you guys how that's done here in just a second. So looking at the head strap itself, let's go ahead and take it out. Oop, actually one more little thing in here. It looks like we've got a user's manual. So don't need that. And there we go. Okay, it's out of the box, so let's take a closer look. So, you know, I gotta say, right now, first and foremost, nothing about this feels cheap. It actually feels pretty damn premium, to tell you the truth. Uh, so all of the padding here, it almost feels like it's memory foam on the top, so that's really cool. Uh, nice adjustability, the knobs are super smooth here. Looks like we've got lots of flexibility here, but yet the plastics are nice and rigid as well. Well, I uh, got this little Velcro guy here that's going to connect those two points. So really impressed so far. Let's go ahead and get it installed on my Quest 3 and give it a test. Okay, so installation should be a snap, literally. So I really love the way that the Quest 3 head straps here just snap right on these days. And there you go, it's on. And I mean, just that quick. Now, one thing that I find really interesting about 
about this is that there's no strap connecting the front of the headset to the top strap. So definitely interested to see if that is still going to pull that weight because you would assume that that top strap would kind of pull that up a little bit. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting to find out. Okay, so last but definitely not least is going to be the accessory grip handles that Zyver sent me as well. Now, when I first got their package, you know, I'm looking at all the things as I'm taking it out and I'm going, okay, cool, this neck band, I can see where I'm going to use that as battery. The, the head strap, I can see where that's going to be more comfortable. And then I got to these and I was like, what are these going to really be useful for? You know, I'm not a huge Beat Saber player and obviously you get them out of the box and that's, you know, obviously they're intense. You got the red and the blue, you got the right and the left, but you guys know I'm all about anything that amps up the immersion factor in VR. And I thought, well, okay, you know, that is going to feel more like I'm holding a set of lightsaber hilt versus, you know, holding a, a controller in my hand that's more like a gun. And then it hit me. I started diving deeper into the box and I found that it also comes with this extension handle. So you screw those together and now I've got something that is very useful for games like Walkabout Mini Golf, Golf Plus, What the Bat. So super cool there and definitely amped up the immersion. And then I found that you could unscrew this guy right here and then put them all together to make one long stick, which is gonna be great if you do the Darth Maul thing and Beat Saber or one of my new passions, Kayak VR. I'm loving Kayak VR. I find it super relaxing and this really makes it feel more like I am using a kayak paddle. Now installation on these is super super easy. You, you literally just slop that ring right on and then you're gonna basically take it and click it. You can hear it click into place and now that thing is on there guys. It is not going anywhere. That controller is not moving at all. So no worries about slinging your controllers across the room and no worries about slinging the handle across the room because they also include a very thick set of wrist straps. Always use your wrist straps. So I got to tell you, I am super, super happy with this combo. I, I, I'm going to get it all set up, get the neck band on, get the head strap on. I'm going to do some off camera testing in some of my favorite games and then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so after doing several hours of testing, I gotta say, I really like these Zyber accessories. So the neck band, uh, let's start with that. So definitely put it through its paces. Now on the website, you can see here, it says that you're gonna get a little over three hours of play and it really depends on what you're doing with it. So if I was just watching media or you know doing something like that, definitely could get that full three hours, maybe even a little bit more. However, once I got into mixed reality gaming, it did tend to drain a little faster. And I'm going to say I probably got a little over two hours in that mode. Now, that is subjective. It really depends on how hard you're pushing your headset. If you do any overclocking, I do a lot of streaming as well, wireless streaming back to my PC. So all of those things are more taxing, but either way you slice it, you're definitely going to get right about two and a half to three hours of extra use and it charges the headset extremely quickly. So definitely recommend this if you are looking for a decent battery battery solution. It's 10,000 milliamp hours and it really does work. Now, the head strap, super comfortable. I, I got to tell you, this is one of the most comfortable head straps I've tested yet. Lots of adjustability. The, the padding up here is super, super nice. Uh, and I love the fact that it's got the big, big back cradle. So it, it totally cradles that entire occipital and really keeps the headset sturdy during gameplay. And like I said earlier, last but not least is this accessory handle. And I got to tell you, I have have been loving this for Golf Plus and Walkabout Mini Golf. So, you know, I got to thank Zyber again for sending all this out. All three accessories have exceeded my expectations and I would highly recommend that you check out each and every one of them. So I will have links for everything that you need in the description. Go 
Check these out. If you feel they're right for you, grab them. You won't be disappointed. But for me, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video if you made it this far. And you know, if this was your first time coming by the channel, you know what to do on the way out. If you don't mind helping me out, smash that subscribe, hit like, and then ring that bell so you get notified the next time I do something cool in VR. But for me, I'll see you in the next one. This is Don signing off.